betrayer of his country. Queen No Mercy dealt a blow to Sue's six after he slammed British government. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle today signed an open letter accusing the UK and rich neighbours of pursuing self-defeating nationalism to deny African and Asian countries the right to make their own COVID-19 vaccines. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are campaigning for Britain to work with pharmaceutical companies to waive intellectual property rights on the life-saving jabs in the latest flashpoint between Harry and his home country. In an open letter published this afternoon, Meghan, Harry and other signatories warned the pandemic is not over, and blamed self-defeating nationalism, pharmaceutical monopolies and inequality for the entire world not being vaccinated by now. A letter from the People's Vaccine was released on Friday afternoon, calling for an end to vaccine monopolies from Western countries. Harry and Meghan, alongside more than 130 former world leaders, Nobel laureates, scientists and others, signed the open letter calling for urgent action to vaccinate low- and middle-income countries and bring an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. The letter criticizes the EU, UK, Germany and Switzerland for continuing to block the lifting of intellectual property rules which would enable the redistribution and scale-up of COVID-19 vaccine, test and treatment manufacturing in the Global South. It then makes five demands to world leaders. The open letter goes on to warn the pandemic is not over, and blamed self-defeating nationalism, pharmaceutical monopolies and inequality for not vaccinating the world against COVID. It then added, the transfer of largely publicly funded vaccine technology and know-how from pharmaceutical corporations would fast-track production to a matter of months. Yet still today, a handful of these corporations retain the power to dictate vaccine supply, distribution and price, and the power to decide who lives and who dies. The UK has vowed to donate 100 million coronavirus vaccine doses within the next year to low-income countries as part of at least 1 billion doses due from the G7. There have been a number of African countries, including Nigeria, where more than 1 million doses were destroyed last year because they expired after low uptake saw just 2% of the population fully vaccinated in 2021. In December experts said up to one-third of Africa's COVID vaccine deliveries remain in storage as rollouts are hindered by jab hesitancy and infrastructure problems. The Sussexes have repeatedly called for global vaccine equity, comparing it to the HIV crisis in 1980s and 1990s, and today their Archul Foundation joined the People's Vaccine Coalition, a group of 90 famous names and organizations demanding vaccines are freely available to everyone, everywhere. Their letter says, the European Union, the United Kingdom and Switzerland continue to block the lifting of intellectual property rules which would enable the distribution and scale-up of COVID-19 vaccines, test and treatment facilities in the Global South. The transfer of largely publicly funded vaccine technology and know-how from pharmaceutical corporations would fast-track production to a matter of months. Yet still today, a handful of these corporations retain the power to dictate vaccine supply, distribution and price, and the power to decide who lives and who dies. Despite their stance, Critics pointed out that recently the ethical Wall Street investment company backed by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex ploughed millions into pharmaceutical companies that develop COVID-19 jabs, despite their calls for vaccine makers to share their research and recipes. And last year they announced a partnership with Procter & Gamble, the US Pharma and Consumer Goods Corporation. The couple's attack on the British government, the EU and Switzerland came a fortnight after Harry took the Home Office to the High Court over taxpayer-funded police protection when he and his family is in the UK. Lawyers for the Duke said he now did not feel safe to visit Britain, or to bring his family from their home in the US. The Duke has also taken name at his own British family since he and Meghan emigrated after quitting as senior working royals in early 2020. They live in a £11 million Montecito mansion in California. The People's Vaccine Coalition said today, We are proud to welcome our Tule Foundation to the Alliance and appreciate their support, alongside Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex.